What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about Beeper Mini. It brings iMessage chats to your Android phone and it does it pretty much seamless. And it's really simple and you'll have everything set up in like a minute or two. There's really no technical knowledge needed to do this. Now the app is in the Google Play Store and it does have a subscription fee. It's $1.99 per month, so very inexpensive, but it does come with a seven day free trial at first. And if you wanna cancel before that seven days, you won't have to pay anything. But otherwise, if you keep it, you will be pretty much promised to have added features brought to this app throughout the future. Now, Beeper Mini does four major things, and you can see it's your Android phone number is now a blue bubble. You get a beautiful new design, blazing fast speed, which will go through the app. Full end-to-end -end encryption, so all your chats, photos, and videos are all encrypted. It's a standalone Android app, no server, laptop, Mac, or iPhone is required. Now, before we dive too deep, I know it's probably gonna come up if you have an RCS chat, which is an Android version of kind of iMessage, chat going with somebody, can you do that and this? Yes, you can. I have a friend that signed up for this service and we can go into the uh, Beeper Mini app and we can do our iMessage chat that way or we can go to our regular Google Messages app and continue with our RCS chat as well. Also, if you send text messages or at least you try with the Beeper Mini app to a non-iPhone phone number, it will not work, it won't go through. It gives you an error message. So you'll have to do that on your Google Messages or whatever text messaging app you're using on Android. So the good thing is you're not really losing anything. You're gaining iMessage chats and group chats with iPhone people. Now the setup is like ridiculously easy. You download the app, you end up logging in with your Google account it accepts your phone number into the iMessage world and you're done. It's seriously one of the most amazing apps that I've seen in a really long time that just works and does what it says. It's really, really amazing. Now here is the app. You can see at the top, you can search through all your chats or whatever you're looking for to find what you're looking for. You have the gear in the top right. You have, if we go into that, you can see preferences. We can change the theme to a light or a dark theme. Um, you can do your send receipts. So when you have, when someone sends you a message by default, it's off, but if you turn it on, they'll know when you read the message from them. You can mute sounds, you can share diagnostics, which is just sharing information. I turned that off. Mute sounds I kept um, off as well because I do want to hear the sounds that are going on. Taking a step back, you can report problems on the app. Uh, security FAQ will walk you through how it's secure and how it's just able to work. You have your help messages uh, or help help files if you need help using the app. Manage your subscription. If you want to cancel us at any time, tap on manage subscription. It brings you in to the Google Play Store and all you got to do is tap on Beeper Mini and cancel it or you can see when your next billing date will be. You can also manage your connections. Go into that. This is going to show you your phone number and any other email addresses that you have set up on this as well, if it, that's if you connected uh, an Apple ID to it. You don't have to do that, you can just use your phone number, but if you wanna add the other addresses you have on Apple, if you have any, you're able to do that. You can also enable or disable push messages so they won't be pushed or not. I don't know why you would wanna turn that off, but you could. And you can also unlink and sign out a beeper so it'll completely take off beeper from your phone number and your Apple account and you'll be good to go and you can just be normal or used to the way it was before. So not only is it easy to sign up, not only is it easy to use, but it's also easy to disconnect as well. Now, two things that I've noticed that you cannot do in this app, and maybe they'll bring it to a future version, is one, you cannot leave a group chat. You can create a group chat, people can message you from within a group chat and it'll create on your messages, but you can't leave a group chat, at least from what I can see. You also cannot change the name of a group chat. So let's just say you're in a group chat with 15 other people and you want to change the name so it's a little bit easier to, to find and, and locate when you're looking through your messages. Maybe you wanna call it like your softball team. You can't do that for whatever reason. If someone else does it on the, the group chat, it will work for you, but otherwise it's just gonna show the people's names. Maybe I'm assuming this will probably come at a later date, but right now at the time I'm making this video, early, early days, you cannot do it. If you wanna create a chat, iMessage, all you're gonna do is hit new chat at the bottom right, when you do that, you can either search for the person's name at the top 
and it'll look through your contacts and you select their name and number and you just write a message and it'll go out as an iMessage. Or if you want to create a group chat, all you have to do is hit create group, select their names from that list, and then at the bottom, hit create. When you go into the chat, you'll see the person's name at the top. You can tap that and if you want, you'll see that you can see their phone number, you can see their name, you can call them. You can also see info about them, which again, we just kind of saw, or you can mute that chat as well. You can also go into the very top right and you can call them. If you call them, it goes through your regular calling app. It does not call them through iMessage. If you hit the I in the top right, it just goes into the same information that is if you tap their name at the top. At the bottom, you'll see a plus sign. You can come in here and you can send files, location, or contacts files, you can send pretty much anything that you want. You can send um, a, a document, you can send a video, you can send a, a, a photo, you can send music, you can send anything you want. It's really cool and it works great and the quality is all there. The button to the right of the plus sign just allows you to use either your camera or your gallery app to send photos. Also within this app, if you tap uh, the emoji sign on the right hand side, you can send emojis or to the right, you can press this button and you can send a voice memo. And then when you're done, just hit the stop and then you can send it. And then after you send it, you can listen to it and they get a high quality voice memo. The app kind of lives up to what it does. It sends um, safe, secure messages through iMessage with this app. So I can send high quality messages, get read receipts. I can see when people are typing to me so I can see if they're writing to me or not. It'll show that little, you know, the three dots when they're doing that. You can send high quality videos and photos and other files as well. I can send voice memos. I can be in group chats. I can start group chats. It does the basics really, really well. Some of the things are missing still. Hopefully those will get it. You might ask yourself, why would you want to pay $1.99? Well, to ease the suffering of your family members and maybe you miss iMessage in general, this will suffice and give you those uh, those needs satisfied. Um, also, paying $1.99, why? Well, they're gonna add more features most likely and it supports the developers. Nothing's free in life as you probably know and would, would you rather pay $1.99 or have ads built into it um, that look very intrusive? Maybe you would rather have the ads, I don't know, but I'm fine having to pay two bucks a month which is super inexpensive to have, be able to communicate easier with my iMessage and iPhone families and friends that are too lazy to jump over to some other app. Also, they are supposed to be adding more functionality into this app, so like WhatsApp and other apps like that so that you have a one-stop shop for all of these apps. Let me know your thoughts about this. If you wanna download it, it's linked down below, and then you can sign up right after that. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.